for me, evangelical is a way of signaling where I put my trust. That my trust is, is very radically, not in myself, uh, but in God, uh, as God is known in Christ, uh, and as Christ is revealed in the pages of scripture. That, that I am fundamentally committed uh, to the trustworthiness of the Christian story, the Jewish and Christian story as told in scripture, uh, and that I'm fundamentally committed to putting my trust in this man named Jesus, who, who I believe uh, died and was raised from the dead. Um, and evangelical is just a, a name that's become associated with that kind of profound commitment to put my trust uh, in that person and, and also in this amazing collection of writings uh, that span a, a millennia or, or more um, that it seems to me are the most trustworthy guides we have uh, as to what God is like, what human beings are meant to be, uh, and how we can be what we were meant to be. I think we have a number of uh, weaknesses that in a way go along with the strengths of American evangelicalism. Uh, one of our strengths is the ability to connect with popular audiences uh, and, and a kind of commitment to reaching out in popular forms of media and communication. Uh, but we need to match that with a depth of uh, thoughtfulness, of awareness of history. Uh, you know, we're, uh, American evangelicalism is very good at doing what's really cool right now. Uh, but the flip side of that, the weakness that comes with that, is a, a lack of attention even to our own history, uh, let alone to the history of the Christian church through um, 2,000 years. So recovering that sense of history, uh, I think we have to decide uh, whether we're making converts or disciples. Uh, if all we make is converts, that is people who've had a, a significant even uh, experience of uh, coming to faith, but we don't give them the ability to follow up that conversion with a lifelong process of transformation, American evangelicalism will be, it will remain uh, very shallow. Uh, I think the other thing we're really good at doing, uh, I'm surprisingly good at doing still, is building churches. And it's very important to build good, healthy, growing churches. Uh, but we're not as good at figuring out what our role is in contributing to the culture outside the walls of the church. And so in 10 or 20 years, I would love to have us be known as people who are absolutely integral to the health of our communities, um, rather than just a, you know, a tax exempt parcel of land that draws people in out of the community. But that really, when th people think of evangelical Christianity, they would think of engagement in the things that matter to our neighbors, whether they're Christian or not.